Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest, Dawn of the Wolves. And we are here with Dawn and her mate Onyx as they welcome the early morning here at their den on Bear Mountain, also known as Saddle Meadows. I don't know if these two would actually know the history and the lore of Bear Mountain because we have not yet gotten to the point where we will be meeting with the ancestors and getting a chance to dream of the ancestors and possibly follow some of the ancestor wolves that we've had, which will also let us explore some of the stories that we have of uh, wolves in the past, which is going to be very exciting for those of you who are new to our Wolf Quest legacies. Don't forget that we do have a fan wikia that is absolutely fantastic and really on top of explaining the many generations of wolves that we have had, though. But... Last time we left off, I once again left the fate of these four young pups and their parents in your guys' hands, which is very exciting. You have had so many opportunities to vote on the fate of Dawn and her mate, like who her mate was going to be. You guys have also had the opportunity to vote on uh, the names for the puppies, the paths the puppies might have. I just need to do a little bit more peeing over here, and then we're going to go get some food. That's what we're up to, <laughs> just in case you guys were wondering. And uh, last time we left off, you guys were given one more opportunity to figure out the future of our wolf pack. Were we going to shoot straight for the summer forest? Were we going to immediately, now that our puppies have grown large enough to be able to leave the den, head down to Douglas Fir Slopes and enter into the deep woods there? Or were we going to spend a little bit more time with our puppies? Because we kind of grew them really quickly. I was not expecting to go for from uh, basically baby puppies to ready to leave already from the den to the summer hunting ground so quickly. I thought it would take a little while longer, so I really have felt like we didn't get a lot of time to really get too attached to a lot of our wolf pups, which is always a bit of a pity. Hmm, all right, there's a carcass over there, but we might want to save it. I don't think we have any other close carcasses though, so I think we need to use this one for food because the puppies are getting alarmingly hungry already. <sighs> so the reality- oh no, this is the fake one! This is the fake spot! This is the- this is the- what? Wait, hang on now. If I back up a little bit, and then like, I think for just- oh! <gasps> okay, I'm not gonna question it. There's a carcass buried right here. There's an invisible carcass buried right here. Not questioning it. I'm just gonna dig it up right out of the ground. Thank you very much, offering from the river. I guess maybe an elk died along the river and we managed to snag some food. Fantastic. But yeah, you guys voted on if we should run straight for the summer woods, if we should cure Dawn and then run for the summer woods, or if we should spend some time training our puppies, which is actually really exciting because we get to know their stories a little bit better. For those of you who are unfamiliar with how we train our puppies, it is actually based off of a suggestion given to us from Ashley Romeve many, many months ago. And in her Wolf Quest stories, she does training days where she will roll to see the difficulty of the training, kind of like we roll to see, oh my gosh, everybody's still hungry. Ah! Why are you, why are you blue? Okay, that just got really weird. Um, okay, I've got to fight this wolf, please. All right. How about no? Uh, are we being, okay, okay, we're being chased down by a very odd wolf. I, this is really getting weird. I feel like there's some very deep, weird story to that particular wolf. So we really need to watch out for that. And we need to feed our puppies right now. I'm trying to explain. Okay, 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 let's come down here. All right, everybody get a little bit of food. There you go, Moose. All right, here you go, Fawn. All right, there you go, Quartz. The reason I'm giving them just the tiniest bit is so that they won't starve to death while we feed the others. All right, here you go, Fawn, since you're right here. And then Quartz, you're right over here as well. So I'll go ahead and feed you. And, uh, uh, come on. Where, where, are you, where are you going, Moose? Don't you want some food? I guess he's like, but I can smell it. I want to go get it down there myself. Moose, stay. Moose, stay here. Moose, I know you're eager to explore and to possibly do a little bit of hunting too. Oh gosh, all right. So it's clear the puppies are too rambunctious and too big to stay at the den any longer. Why are there two coyotes? Why were we just invaded? Don't tell me that like that wolf is in cahoots with these coyotes, because this is getting, that's right, Onyx, Onyx get, get the coyote, please. I'm begging you. 
<laughs> All right, we've got to chase this coyote away. Oh my gosh. And let's go and feed Moose. But clearly the puppies are too large to stay here at the den any longer. So we need to leave. They're just too rambunctious. They don't want to have anything. Where the heck am I? I'm totally lost. I'm totally, totally turned around. There we go. But they don't want to have anything to do with the den any longer. And it is clearly not safe. Uh, the predators in the area know that our puppies are nearby. It's just not safe to leave them here anymore. So you guys voted on actually training the puppies by taking them away from the den. Moose, oh my gosh. You're kidding me. This isn't cool. Yes, it is level 3 difficulty for today, by the way. Uh, but training the puppies means two things. It means we get a lot more time with them because we won't go straight to the summer forest. We have to attack a whole bunch of the predators that would come for them. And we also have to teach them how to hunt. And that's not something built into the game. That's something that we do in our own time. Oh, all right, let's grab this puppy right over here. Quartz, I didn't mean to pick you up. When I said grab, I meant like feed. There we go. All right, and let's make sure that little fawn has some food. All right, I need to go get some more food really quickly. Nobody be eaten, please. Uh, let's see if we can do some howling to convince everybody to stay at the den. They're really, come on babies. I think that the howling no longer works now either. Uh, oh wait, you have to like hold totally still. You didn't used to have to hold this still in order to get pack affinity up. So let's get pack affinity up. Oh, look at the puppies are playing. But see, that's the thing. We get a chance to see how the puppies play. We get a chance to see which ones like moose start wandering off and are a little bit hard headed. We also get a chance to kind of have the drama of their lives being at risk in the wild. Fun! Why? Literally why? Like that kind of drama. <laughs> but it does mean um, there is no official... What the heck? Is this a dead thing? That's, that's a fox! That's a fox! Do I get points for chasing off a fox? I do get points for chasing off a fox. Okay, we'll, we'll get back to that in a minute. What the heck a doodle? What is a fox doing so close to my den? And the puppies are, ooh, what? What? Got a sniff sniff, sniff sniff, fox, sniff sniff. What were they doing over here? What do you mean onyx? Onyx? Where's fawn? Where is fawn? Where's fawn? Where's fawn? Where's fawn? Where's fawn? Oh my gosh, I think we lost Fawn because I dropped her while I was chasing that coyote. Fawn? Oh my gosh, you're back at the den. <gasps> my heart. Oh, I can't take this. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, we decided this. We decided, hey, this is a good idea. Instead of instead of taking the puppies to the summer forest, I need to go get one more last batch of food and then we're going to we're going to start bringing them with us. But oh, you're kidding me. Okay. This is getting ridiculous. I think Onyx may be feeding them or maybe holding on to them. Oh my gosh. Um, I feel like that stranger wolf has actually summoned some coyotes here. And I know that's not very realistic, but I almost feel like it maybe left a trail, a trail of, of evidence of like, hey, there's some food over this way. You know, like maybe dragging a rabbit carcass along the way until until all the coyotes started following it. I feel like that wolf has set us up, but now I need to rely on you guys in your storytelling to explain why. Why would a wolf with oddly bluish markings try to doom our pups? Like, I feel like that wolf's a lot cleverer than Dawn and Onyx are, since these two are, are very new at being adult wolves. And I feel like it is trying to use the other predators to kind of wipe out our little pack before we even get started with our first our first litter. But why? All right, let's go ahead and eat. And then we're going to go feed our babies. And then we're going to leave the den for training. So as I was saying, training is done by uh, counting how many points we get for doing different things, like chasing off all of those coyotes could have easily counted as enough training if we were we're activating that yet but it's done manually because it is not a feature of the game however as you can tell spending more time with our puppies and the challenges of the wild adds a lot more to the story which is why we're all here at the end of the day yes yes so we're gonna run up we're going to feed our puppies one more time and we are going to be leaving our den i think dawn and onyx are quite distressed at just how dangerous the den has suddenly become and they are very worried about how to take care of little fawn so we're actually going to leave this den and head over to Aspen Heights. <gasps> Why? Why? Get here. Get here. Okay, one more, one more bite. 
Okay, there we go. All right, chase the bear away. All right, Onyx, I could really use some help. Moose, eat! Quartz, oh my gosh. Oh, literally, my gosh. Okay, somebody feed Fawn. Somebody, get out of my way! Uh, okay, we're leaving this den. <laughs> I feel like they're feeling really agitated by the number of predators. The puppies are really scared. There's coyotes and bears and so much going on. And I feel like Dawn and Onyx are still really worried about what to do with little Fawn. So let's go ahead. We're going to start our journey. Let's go. Great. The first thing we get is a hawk. <laughs> the random generator did p pick difficulty level three for the day. Okay, where where is the hawk gonna land? Where is the hawk gonna land? All right, are we being watched over over here? Moose? Okay, I hope we don't have the invisible hawk glitch because I will be so toasty if we do. All right, Moose. All right, Moose is like definitely the one who gets in the way. I was not actually trying to work with Moose. All right, we're gonna give a good howl. Are we gonna start wiggling our puppies down towards Aspen Heights? We have to carry Moose. I don't want to carry you. He's definitely the one who's the most insistent about going. Let's grab Fawn. We have to carry Fawn because she is still the sickly one and she cannot make the walk on her own. We definitely need to get some more food though. All right, come on, babies. There we go. Moose, quartz, boulder, fawn. Okay, and I can only carry fawn for so long before she's too heavy. And we have to wait for the stamina to come back. All right, and we're going to wiggle our way down the, the cliff side. And we're going to start working our way over to Aspen Heights. And the reason we're doing that is that Dawn and Onyx really love their four puppies. And they're very distressed the, about the fact that Fawn is so sick. They don't really know what to do about that. Also, I am really distressed at the fact they're probably going to starve to death at this rate. What is this ridiculousness? <laughs> and this is going to be pretty challenging for us. Come on, puppies. You guys need to keep moving. I know you're tired. They need more food, I think. Oh, dear. And there's another eagle. Oh, my gosh. All right. Come on. All right, let's go ahead and feed Fawn just a teensy bit. I need to save my food. Come on, everybody. Where is your father when I really, really, really need him to feed you? All right, he's right over here. Is he feeding anyone? Fawn, don't wander off. You're too sickly. Where is the eagle? Okay, Quartz, I'm going to have to give them little snippets of food. Boulder, Fawn, seriously? Okay, stay with me. All right, they're really going to starve to death. Okay, so the eagles are not landing. They're just kind of yelling at us. All right, I have all three puppies. They're hard to see on the stone. And this is where life truly gets difficult. So actually, yes, it does make things far more difficult when we do things like... Uh, all right, good. And they're all coming down. I don't know what the hawk's about if the hawk isn't going to land and let me chase it away. All right, there we go. All right, all three of our puppies and little fawn is right over here. And I need to go get some food because Onyx is just not cutting it. All right, stay there, puppies. Don't die, please. <laughs> and I'm really worried we don't have enough food. I might need to feed them and do some active hunting. But thankfully, we can now start counting the points now that we have left the den. And I guess Onyx is going to go try to, to like uh, get some food for them. Also, it'll be faster if we go around. Okay, Onyx was just right here. And then the elk are nearby. Oh my gosh, I think our puppies are going to die. Onyx, feed them. I'm begging you. <laughs> Why won't he feed them? Okay, go, 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 go. I guess I forgot how hard this part can be. Why are you still yelling at me, bird? All right, come on. I'm so glad we have this like weird elk catch right here. Because otherwise, I don't think our puppies are going to make it. Oh, this is going to be so hard. All right, there we go, there we go. There's the tiniest bit right there, but I don't think it's gonna stick around. All right, now we need to run back up to where our pups are, which is gonna be a little tricky. All right, I have to get around this water patch. Ah, why did you drown Quartz all the way down here? Oh my gosh, Quartz, stay there. Ah, oh, the, the chaotic drama has begun, oh my gosh, okay. And there's the other babies. Boulder, Moose, and Fawn are up there. So anyway, the way it works now... No, my puppy! Fawn! Fawn! Why was she taken now? Onyx was literally right there! 
She was the sickliest too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We've already lost a puppy. Oh my gosh. There's no ancestor blessings to bring her back. And Dawn and Onyx, I mean, it was... I, I'm so sorry, guys. We did our best, and now I need to go and get quartz, and we still have to train these three little ones. We didn't even successfully chase off the eagle. Oh my gosh. Fun. I'm so sorry. Let's go get quartz, because poor quartz has just been left on her own over here by Onyx, and I don't know, I, these two are just such inexperienced parents, but all right, guys. As you can tell, the the true burden, the true struggle of being a wild wolf has now officially begun. And we now need to take care of our three surviving puppies. Oh, come on. Come on, Onyx. Bring Moose over here. And I think they're all subdued after what has just happened to Fawn. And we need to train up our puppies, though, because we, we did choose to take the path of training. So what needs to happen now is we are actually needing to work on getting uh, 20 points. 20 points by doing various things, such as uh, eating, like killing and eating a hare or a... Um, a cow elk or a bull elk, bull elk or a moose. Uh, we need to also chase off eagles, stranger wolves, foxes, grizzlies, cougars, coyotes, etc. And by chasing them off, we will be able to teach our puppies how to do the same thing, how to do so themselves. So we're going to train our puppies up and after we uh, get 20 points, because I rolled, there's four levels of difficulty, and the 20 is what we rolled uh, this time then we will be able to go ahead and head to the summer forest. So I, I won't make you guys keep track of the points with me. I'll keep track of them myself and try to put a little tracker at the bottom. But I can't believe we lost Fawn. I'm so sorry. I know she was so beloved. I just... Oh, man. All right. Well, we don't have any time to waste. I am going to go ahead and start preparing. And we need to now train our puppies and teach them about the difficulty of the wild world. And we also need to let... Poor Don, or poor Don and Onyx face the realities of what it means to be a wolf pack in the wild. And I really can't wait to see what you guys have to say about all of those coyotes and that really weird stranger wolf. So, goodbye Fawn, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.